Hello and welcome to MyCADSite.com. This tutorial is going to have a look at the Array command and specifically the Polar option and the Path option. I've already done the Rectangular option in another tutorial. So I'm going to start with a line. I'm just going to draw it from 0, 0 to 0, 5. And you'll see that I've got a nice line going here. Just need to zoom in on it. And start the Array command. AR and you'll know right away the dialog box is gone. That's new in AutoCAD 2012. So I have to look at the command line like I've always taught. So select the uh, object, press enter or hit the space bar. And in this case I'm going to choose the polar option. And first thing I'll select is a base point and I'm just going to pick the bottom of this line and you'll see that I've already got some action happening around my cursor. So what I want to do is choose the number of items. So I enter an E for expression, and I'm going to say I want 12. Maybe I'm designing a clock, I don't know. And you'll see there's my 12, and now it's just a matter of dragging it around. Or if you look at the command line, the default says specify the angle to fill, and this is 360 degrees, so I'm just going to press Enter, and I am set. Now you'll see that I've already got all kinds of other options here but I'm just going to press exit for now and we'll look at a couple more in as I edit the array which is easy because it's a single object now previously I would have dealt with 12 separate lines and if I wanted to change something I'd have to go and change 12 individual lines but now I've got more options and I can stretch my radius out just by pulling away or entering a number and you'll see that now there's a little bit of an area in the middle where they're not touching anymore. Another thing I can do is go to a level count. And I'm going to enter three levels. And it's like, oh, great, nothing happened. Now what do I do? What I want to do is switch to my isometric view so that I can now see the three levels in the z-axis that have been created. And you'll see now I've got all kinds of grips. I've got grips pointing up. So now I can drag this and create more levels. Or I can increase the spacing of them. So I can keep the spacing and just bring the number of levels down. So it's a lot of quick, easy workings with the new array command. And uh, you can see I'm just going to go levels back to 1 and back to my top view. So it's pretty straightforward once you get used to it. It's a little tricky, but um, just try working with it, see what you can do. I can change my angle now from the 15 degrees, and I'm going to change to 5 degrees. And you'll see that that's a grand total of 5 degrees. But of course, now I can drag everything around and number of items I'm just gonna go with five and you'll see that there's an array five items with a total of five degrees and click in and now I'll go 75 degrees and there I am so that's the array command for the polar option pretty straightforward pretty easy to use and now I'm just going to erase it and now we're going to have a look at the path option I've already drawn a path here bring it in and I'm going to use a block this time just a simple block and I'm going to align it along this path so the first thing I'm going to do is just drag it over using my grips to the end of the line so now I start the array command, select my objects, and this time choose path. So I'll select my path, and I'm going to go down and say orientation. I'm going to leave it the way it is. And uh, base point is going to be the same. And align along the path, current. Now how many do I want? Uh, let's say 10 this time. And then divide evenly along the path sure because that's why I have the path in the first place so I press enter again and exit 
and if I zoom in, you'll see that I have 12, sorry, 10 aligned along this path. And now if I need to, I can just delete the path altogether and just keep my objects in. And it keeps ghost path in for arraying and editing later. Because now I can go and do the same sort of thing. I can move it around or I can go to a row and level count as well, just as I did in the previous uh, options. So that's a quick look at these commands. Um, it's new, it's different, kind of scary, but uh, we're CAD people, we'll deal with it. Thanks for watching, this has been mycadsite.com and I've got a full complete AutoCAD course to get you up and running at mycadsite.com. Goodbye.